This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the Honda 1998 that I'm installing the 3LR-8 twin. I've upgraded both the Aaron cell or 3LR-1000 and the 3LR-8. They both now have twin cells in them. I'll show you how that works at the end of the video. What you're looking at is the under the hood side where the cell is installed. There's the cell and there are three safety corks in there. All my cells come with this setup. The corks are not included, although they may end up being included later. You can see the blue cover there. That's covering my wire. I may change that. Um, it's kind of a, a modesty cover. And because I've had a lot of people looking at the cell, it kind of brings it out. You can see the cork set up there. Also, this is a twin cell set up. All my cells now will have that. You can see the two stainless steel electrodes there and the one down the front. So there's actually three electrodes. That one on the bottom is the negative electrode and the two on the top are both go to positives. So if any one of those two on the top are disconnected or switch thrown, the cell goes to a single cell. If they're both connected, then you have double cell. Or in this case, one larger cell. The reason for that is I got I received an email. This shows you the uh, order port or how that works. I received an email asking why you couldn't split the cells or why you couldn't put two cells in there. I've actually split the cell. I'll show you how that works. There's my fill port. Both the 3LR1000 and the Dash 8, which is an 8 inch plate, use the same type port arrangement and both have twin cells. You can see the corks there. There's actually three when the system's set up, so that's for backfire. safety. So they blow out theoretically, though I haven't even had it backfire in my system yet. And that's how you fill the system. Those are the two fuse holders there. And there's actually a third one that goes in line. So there's actually three fuses. One for each of the twin cells and one that fuses them all together. The reason for that is if the amperage goes too high, you can turn off one of those twins and the amperage should go down. There's all kinds of ways you can deal with that, including automatic few stats, which we'll show you later. And there's one of the safety features. So there's actually three safety quirks there. I'll show you another view of this cell. That tube on your right goes to the air intake. And again, those red leads there are going to the twin cells. This is the latest upgrade in the Aaron series or the 3LR series. I'll show you a cell and show you how it works in just a moment. Take a look at the inside of the car. I'm getting ready to go through the back seat and get to the 
fuel pump wires there, hopefully. There's a couple of places that people have told me to look at. So far, that sounds like the most logical for me. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to be trying that tomorrow. This is the 3LR-8 twin that's in my car. And there you see the gauges. The one on the far right, well, I'll show you the setup here. This lights. The green light here stays on all the time. It's run off a relay. As long as that light's on, it's telling me I have water in the cell. That is the that turns on the lights on the plate on the There's my switch that turns the cell on and when you push that down it turns it off. The red switch to your left turns the lights on on these readouts. You can see there, this is something I'm getting ready to install. That's the meter. It tells you how long the cell's been running. The meter to your right tells you the amperage, and this is the voltage. Voltage pretty well stays on 14 volts all the time. And that voltage reader reads across the battery, so it's always on. Now we're in the lab, and I'm showing you the, this is the 3LR1000 twin. This is the new version. I'm not selling anything else but this version. You can see the water port on the bottom and the one sensor. This has got twin cells in it and the new ports on the top. If you order from hydrogentap.com now, you will get all this for the same price that I've been advertising. The prices are going to be going up as soon as I put the new site up. The reason for that is I've been taking a loss on this equipment to try to get it out there, and I can't keep taking that loss any longer, so I'm going to have to up the price. If you do get them now, they will be the same price, and you will get the new upgrade. This is the new upgrade here for 3LR.